Hello children. Hope you all are well and safe at your home. Now today I am here with a new chapter percentage. So let's begin the chapter now. Now the topics that we will discuss in this chapter are meaning of percentage, converting fraction, ratios and decimal into percentage and vice versa. And now we will learn how to calculate the value of percentage how to calculate the total quantity when the percentage is given and discussion of word problems now the meaning of percentage percentage is made from the word per and cent per means out of and cent means 100 it means out of 100 so if it is given to you x percent you should understand that out of 100 the, uh, the person has got x or out of 100 uh, the score is x here if someone says he got 50 percent marks it means out of 100 he scored 50 marks that is 50 upon 100 now the first question that we are going to discuss is how to convert fraction into percentage so the first part is it's given 47 upon 100 and this you have to convert into percentage so 47 upon 100 is given and you have to calculate the percentage so in order to calculate the percentage you will multiply it by 100 with 100 this 100 will be cancelled and you will get 47 percent now if you have to calculate the fraction is given 9 upon 20 and if you have to calculate the percentage multiply the fraction by 100 with 0 the 0 you cancel 5 times this will be cancelled and 1 here so 9 multiplied by 5 will give you 45 percent Similarly, you will do the remaining part. If mixed fraction is given there, then convert the mixed fraction into improper and then multiply by 100 and the number will be and then cancel out and you will get the percentage there. Now converting ratios into percentage. So if the ratio is given 37 ratio 100, you write the ratio in the form of fraction. And then if you have to calculate the percentage, multiply it by 100 and the ratio will be converted into percentage. Similarly, you can do the remaining parts. For example, if 16 upon 25 is given, multiply it by 100. 4 times this 100 will be cancelled by 25 and you are left with 16 multiplied by 4 this will be 64 percent now converting decimal into percentage so it is given 0 0.6 percent multiplied by 100 so for converting decimals into the percentage the most easiest way is to multiply the decimal by 100 and then write 6 and two zeros are there put these two zeros now check up to after how much digit the decimal is given after one digit so place the decimal after the one digit so the answer will be 60 percent One more example, 0 0.005. This decimal number you have to convert into percentage. So, multiply it by 100. So, 5 ones are 5. Then, two zeros you put. 
as you know zeros before number are useless so you will not count these so now count after how many digit the decimal was placed is placed so after three digit the decimal is placed so you will put after three digit the decimal so the percentage will be 0.5 percent similarly uh, similarly if percentage is given and if it ha you have to convert it into decimal then how to convert just see to it suppose it is given to you 42 percent and you have to convert it into decimal so when the decimal uh, when this percentage sign will be removed the number will be divided by 100 as you know percentage means out of 100 so that means 42% means 42 out of 100 now write 42 now see the denominator how many zeros are there two zeros are there so after two digit we will place the decimal so it will be converted as 0.42 as the decimal now to calculate how to calculate the value of percentage so if it is given 32% of 425 so write remove the percentage sign so it will be 32 upon 100 and then multiply it by 425 then cancel and you will get 136 here now the next question is find the number whose 13% is given to you 65 so here the percentage is given to you and its value is given to you and you have to find out what is the number so let us consider that x be the required number then according to the question 13% of x is equals to 65 so you just write 13% of x and that is equals to 65 now remove the percentage sign so when you will remove the percentage sign 13 will be divided by 100 then multiplied by x and that will be equals to 65 now do the cross multiplication so 65 will be multiplied by 100 upon 13 and then 13 will uh, divide 65 5 five times so you will left with 5 multiply by 100 and that will give you 500 hence the required number is 500 now next question is find the number find the number whose 6 whose 1 by 4 percent is 2 so here the percentage is given in fraction it's a mixed fraction so first of all you will convert the mixed fraction into improper so now first uh, see the percentage is given its value is given again we have to find out the total number here so let the required number be or the total number be x then according to the question 6 holds 1 by 4 percent of x is equals to 2 now remove the percentage sign before that i will suggest you first convert the mixed fraction into improper then after the next step will be removal of the percentage sign remove the percentage sign so the number will be multiplied by 1 upon 100 so you will be getting 25 upon 400 there multiply by x that will be equals to 2 now do the cross multiplication and cancel out the numbers and you will get 32 there Now the next question is what percent of 84 is 14 so here the total number is given to you 84 and 14 is the number whose percentage you have to calculate so let x percent of 84 be 14 <coughs> now remove the percentage sign 
सो x अपॉन हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाई एटी फोर विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्टीन एंड देन डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड देन आफ्टर कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ x. सो द वैल्यू ऑफ x विल बी सिक्सटीन होल्स टू अपॉन थ्री परसेंट इन द अदर वे इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू द सेम क्वेश्चन यू कैन डू इट इज आस्किंग वॉट परसेंट ऑफ एटी फोर इज फोर्टीन सो यू राइट फोर्टीन अपॉन एटी फोर एंड इट्स परसेंटेज इज आस्क मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जीरो हंड्रेड नाउ ब्रिंग इट इन टू द लोएस्ट टर्म विथ सेवन वी विल डू हेयर वन अपॉन सिक्स फिफ्टी हेयर एंड हेयर इट विल बी कैंसल बाय थ्री सो यू आर हैविंग फिफ्टी अपॉन थ्री एंड विच वेन यू विल राइट एज परसेंटेज इट विल बी सिक्सटीन होल्स टू अपॉन थ्री परसेंट सो यू कैन डू दिस दिस क्वेश्चन विद दिस मैथड ऑल्सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रुपेश सिक्योर्स फोर हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव मार्क्स आउट ऑफ सेवन फिफ्टी इन हिज एनुअल एग्जामिनेशन Now find the percentage of marks obtained by him. So here, maximum marks of the examination is given to you, seven fifty. The marks secured by Rupesh is four hundred and ninety-five. Now percentage of marks secured by him, you will write out of seven fifty. He secured four hundred and. Ninety-five marks, and since you have to calculate the percentage, multiplied by hundred. So the zeros we will cancel by five. If we will do, here will be two. This will be fifteen. And then this four ninety-five multiplied by two will be divided by fifteen, and you will get the sixty-six percent. The monthly salary of a typist is rupees fifteen thousand six hundred and twenty-five. If he gets an increase of twelve percent, find his new salary. So it's given his salary is fifteen thousand six hundred twenty-five, and he's getting an increment of or increase percentage is given to you twelve percent. So first of all, let us find out how much amount increment he got. So for that. You will calculate twelve percent of rupees fifteen thousand six hundred and twenty-five. So calculate the value of this. You will get the answer here eighteen thousand one thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. So the new salary of the typist will be what? Earlier his salary was fifteen thousand six hundred and twenty-five plus one thousand eight hundred seventy-five. The increment. Add them, you will get the seventeen thousand five hundred as his new salary. Now the next question is: the excise duty on a certain item has been reduced to rupees seven sixty from rupees nine fifty. So you have to find the reduction percent in the excise duty on that item. So it is given in the beginning. The excise duty was nine fifty. Then it was reduced to seven sixty. Now, what is asked? What is the reduction percentage? So, what we will do? We will find out the difference between both the excise duty. It will be one ninety. Now we have to find out the reduction percentage. So, for that, you will write the difference between both the excise duty. and then you have to take the initial value we always uh, do take out percentage increase or decrease percentage on the initial value so here will be 950 and since you are calculating percentage here so you have to multiply it by 100 
so when you will solve this it will be equals to 20 percent next question is 70 percent of the students in a school are boys and the number of girls is 504 so find the number of boys in the school so what is given the seven boys percentage is given to you 70 percent the number of girls is given to you how much 504 so you can see the boys percentage is given whereas the number of girls is given so as you know if we know the percentage and its value we can calculate the total number of student so what we will do here we will find out the percentage of girls first so for that out of 100 we will subtract this percentage of boys it will give you 30 percent so the percentage of girls now you are knowing now we will calculate the first of all we will calculate the total number of student and then we will find out the number of boys now the question you can do with the unitary method also and you can do with percentage math method also so 30 percent of the total student is equals to 504 remove the percentage sign Now by cross multiplication you will solve this and you will get the value of x equals to 1680. Once you have calculated the total strength, now for calculating the number of boys, so from total student you subtract the number of girls, you will come to know how many boys are there. So what we will do from 1680 will subtract the number of girls given in the question. So the answer will be 1176 boys. Now the next question is, an ore contain 12% copper, how many kilograms of ore are required to get 69 kg of copper? So copper percentage is given to you, 12% and its value is also given to you, how much 69 kg? And you have to calculate the total quantity. So what you will do? 12% of the total quantity will be equals to 69 kg. Then percentage sign you remove. So the number 12 will be divided by 100. And then do the cross multiplication and solve it. So you will get the value 575 kg is the amount of ore there. Now the next question, 36% of the maximum marks are required to pass a test. A student gets 123 marks and is declared failed by 39 marks. So find the maximum marks. So it is given in the question that 36 marks is the passing percentage. To 
pass a test. So out of 100, 36 percent marks of the child is getting, he will be passing the test. Now student got 123 marks and he is failed by 39. So it is asking find the maximum marks. So the student has got 123 marks. And he is failed by 39 marks. Means if this 39 marks he could have secured, he is going to pass the exam. Means if this marks 39 marks more he could have got he could have got 36 percent marks and he will be passed so that means for passing the exam he require how much marks 123 plus 39 so let us consider let the maximum marks be x so now passing marks that he required will be how much 123 plus 39 means how much he got and if this much marks 39 marks more he could have got he could have got the passing marks so his passing marks will be how much 162 and if 162 marks he could have secured then he could have got 36 percent of the total marks and that will be the passing marks for him so 36 percent of x so 36 percent of this x will will be equals to 162 now remove the percentage sign so 36 upon 100 multiplied by x will be equals to 162 and x value will be 162 multiplied by 100 upon 36 and this will give you 450 marks so the maximum marks will be how much 450 So now your homework is complete exercise 10A and exercise 10B in your in your maths copies. So I hope you all have understood this chapter and it will become easier for you to solve now. So we will meet again. So thank you everyone for watching the video.